This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome well, we'll back here with another episode AI, the Somnium Files. In the last episode, we uh, we tracked down Hitomi and uh, an interrogator about about what was going on with her friend and her ties to Renju and everything like that. And uh, since she wouldn't tell us anything more, we had to go inside her brain or dreams and uh, figure out what's going on. It seems like things are not going to be as simple as we thought they were. Anyway, let's uh, continue on. Let's... Uh, We've stopped to Tomi, and now we need to hug her! Touch her! Hey, Tomi! Hmm, I see. Well? She dresses modestly, but underneath she has a curvaceous body. Good work, Iba. That's good to know. Yeah, that makes a, that makes a lot of sense. Anyway, um, okay, so that doesn't solve it. We need to go back to the... Where's the tree? I guess I could just look at the map. Whoops. Wrong button. Let's see, so Tommy is So the tree should be like Oh there it is. Okay. Yeah, after we uh <clears throat> after you do whatever to the tree, there's a new the option there. Now we can stick our hand in there. Yeah, stick your hand in there. Get sucked in, right? Hmm? A cord bracelet has appeared on my wrist. Perhaps it belongs to someone. Might be important. Hold on to it. Okay, now I need to show that to Hitomi. <clears throat> Three minutes, Date. Gotta remind him of all their childhood dreams. That's Hitomi. Uh, oh yeah, there's show the bracelet. Do you remember this? Wait! Follow her! On it! We shook Katomi to her core. Unlock number three. Alright, now we're just, uh, okay. Oh, now we just got the rocks in the hole again. Okay, well, I guess we gotta jump in the hole like, uh, like um, the white rabbit or someone that or Alice. A large hole. Was this here before? Nope. Geronimo. If there is nothing left to do. Date, what is going on? I don't know. It's pitch black. I can't see anything. I see. Then it is not me malfunctioning. Can you feel your way around? I can try. I don't know. I kind of I find it funny when someone just falls flat on their face, like almost like Looney Tunes style or something like that. Oh, cluster. Okay. Well, that's the only thing we can actually integrate with. Whoa. Okay. We're not going to be able to just go straight there. Nope. No easiness for us. Yeah, not like it's that bad. Yeah, same. A lycoris flower. Mm, I think I've. I'm trying to think if I've seen those types of flowers before. I think so. Well, not in real life. I've only seen pictures of them. I mean. That is a cluster amaryllis, also known as a lycoris. I have no doubt. These flowers are poisonous, sometimes known as death flowers. In the language of flowers, it means passion, reunion, and sad memories. Hmm. We're just learning all about flowers in this whole playthrough. Just how they talk and everything. Why, well, it's the greatest thing. Let's worship the flower. It is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Nothing is happening. That's to be expected, but still disappointing. The flower gods have not have not um, like blessed us. I feel a little awkward, but it's useless. The roots must be strong. It won't budge. Okay, let me go ahead and restart so we can. Um... <clears throat> So we could have a decent amount of time for it since we dicked around so much. Alright, 
one. This is the one where there's the hole. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, there it is, like, right there. It's kind of weird sometimes when the game, like, kind of loads you in a spot and you're not sure, like, where you're going to get loaded into. Alright, jump in. Whee! <laughs> yeah, just falling flat on her ass. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. I'm sure going around. Maybe it'll be faster. Yeah, but I, I was taking the long way around. Oh, well. Okay, let's do the dig it up. Dig it up! Let's do it. Wh what? Another hole. Is that it? <clears throat> yep, no other way out. Alright, time hole. to blow this popsicle stick. Aw, oh, man. Um, Sarah, there's no rocks around here, are there? Dang it. Um, shoot. I'm have to retry again. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find, because I think the rocks give you, give you the time on them, so let me see. Because, uh, yeah, that 120 is going to make it to where I can't, um, I just need something. Okay, investigate's the cheapest one, so. Okay, what'd that give me? Nothing. What? Really? Come on, game. But it's. Uh, let's see. Oh. I've already done all that. Okay, there we go. That should be enough, I think, for um that. I'm not very good at figuring out what the actual directions of this. Like, there's. You have less than two minutes, Dante. Hurry. Okay. Okay, that 110 should be should be good enough, so we can do that now. We <laughs> Whomp. And then go over here. Yes. Yes! 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 And then the... Uh, mainly I'm doing this just so I can get the, get the item. So, there you go. We've come this far. I will not protest now. Revealed the secret. So, so did they actually kill the friend, or did she accidentally die? And they hid the body anyway. Well, I guess we'll find out here in a second what happened. It's just that they're all—they're both product to whatever happened to her. So, let's find out. Tell me, I think I know what happened 18 years ago. You three were close, you, Monica, and Renju. Monica was murdered. You and Renju found the body in the mountains, and you brought it back to the cold storage warehouse. And my guess is so Sejima killed Monica. I've seen inside his head before, using this machine. I see. If you know that much, then there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'll tell you the truth.
Back to the Sargon residence. Eighteen years ago. Wait, you're going to see So? Yes. I want to talk to him in person. No, you can't. Why not? Are you worried about my body? You don't have to worry about that. I'm totally fine. But your stomach is still... Oh, my doctor told me that's normal. Your stomach doesn't go down right away after giving birth. I'm not worried about your body. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. So doesn't care about you. And especially not your child. I haven't told him about giving birth. He contacted me for the first time in a while. So that's why. He wants to know about the baby. He must be panicking. If anyone ever finds out his mistress had his baby, his political career would be over. It's not like it was an affair. His wife passed away after giving birth to his son, right? It would still be a big scandal. He impregnated a girl who just graduated high school. Don't you see how that looks? He knew how the public would take it. That's why he gave you the money to... Deal with it. There's no way he'll accept that child. It's okay. I told him that I won't cause any trouble. But could you take care of the baby? Just for a little bit? I'll be right back. Fine. But take this with you, just in case. It's a GPS transmitter. Just to be extra safe. I really don't think I'll need it. But okay, if it'll make you feel better. I don't know what Monica saw in So. She said he was kind and loyal, that he wanted to change Japan. But I didn't understand any of it. We tried to convince her to break up with him so many times. She never listened. And it ended in tragedy. What happened next, you already know. Neither Renju or I saw it happen. So I don't know how much of this is accurate. But we could guess what happened. Whether he did it or he pretends to think someone else did, it's hard to say, but uh, either way, she got stabbed and killed. Thinking that the, bot the baby went with her. Mm. Yeah, typical, a typical person of power didn't want to, you know, did the deed, but didn't use protection. Oh my god, a baby came out of it, let's just get rid of it, you know. And I'm not going to get in the argument of over, you know... Um, certain other topics, if you know what I mean. Not right now, anyway. I'm yeah, just seeing if there's... I, I doubt there's anything here. It's too much of a serious moment to uh, <coughs> have it, but... Uh, okay, didn't think so. Tell me is sitting quietly. Who told you this? Renju told me. But you said he wasn't there. He heard some of this from the Kumakuras. 
Renju had connections with them. How did the Kumakuras know? So told them. What did So say to Monica? Is that really how, uh, how you pronounce Monica there in that case? He said he'd pay for everything. What happened after Mon Monica's murder? So contacted his friend, the chairman of the Kumakuras. He asked him to dispose of the body and left the scene with the culprit. The incident was 18 years ago. That means the chairman was Rohan, not Mola. Rohan went to the scene of the crime? Yes, with some of his men. Hmm. About the killer. Date, you said that Monica was killed by So, right? But that's not true. Monica was killed by Saito Sejima, the son of So and his late wife. Saito was 12 at the time. 12? Yes. But why would a little boy do that? I don't know. I can't imagine. Maybe he was jealous. I mean, who knows? Or maybe the kid was a psychopath. It's hard to say. Well, let's listen to the rest of it. Again, neither Renju or I saw this. We were just waiting at my house for Monica to return. But she never came back. We tried to call her cell, but it didn't connect. But then, we saw movement on the GPS. The GPS Renju gave to Monica? Yes. At first, we thought she was on her way home. But we saw the GPS getting further and further away from the city. Renju and I got nervous, and we decided to follow it. What about the baby? We couldn't take the baby with us, so... Renju gave the baby to the mob doctor he trusted. Those are Kumakura men. We didn't dare move. We couldn't speak. We were barely breathing. We could only watch as it all unfolded. I knew what the hole was for, but I couldn't move. Couldn't do anything. I remember my heart beating so fast. Before long. We good here? Yeah. Cover her. Just a minute. covered Monica's body, then left. Renju and I ran over and dug up the grave with a tree branch. What we saw. Not yet. Why not? You don't know who those guys are. They would do anything to keep this hidden. I've seen it happen myself. I know what they're capable of. Anyway, think about it. Why would they do this? They thought Monica and her baby were going to be trouble. Monica's stomach was still pretty big. I don't think they know that she gave birth already. What do you think they'd do if they found out? They would take her and kill her too. 
And then, they'd come for us. They'd make it look like we disappeared. All of us would be... gone. Renju convinced me. He knew more about the dirty underbelly of society than anyone. He knew when something couldn't be handled by the police. He said that they would do anything to kill the child. And I believed him. We had to protect Monica's baby. We had to. No matter what. Okay. I understand. I decided to trust him. We couldn't leave Monica's body in the forest. We cleaned her up and took her to the cold storage warehouse. This warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. My father runs it. But it's not in use right now. They're moving operations to a better area. They're actually looking for buyers right now. But don't worry. I'll take over the warehouse. Are you sure? Yes. Don't worry. I'll keep everyone out. Everyone but you, of course. I'll give you a key. You can come visit any time you want to see Monica. Monica? Don't worry about the baby. I'll protect her, no matter what. And don't worry about them, either. The people who did this to you? I will never forgive them. I'm sorry, Monica. Sorry. I'm sorry. Monica. Who are we looking at? I guess we're looking through Tomi's eyes in this case. Alright, let's take a look around. Though I doubt anything's gonna pop up here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything's really coming out here. Why do they let you check it if there's really nothing gonna come out of it? You know. I don't know, just I guess just for theme or something like that. I oh, can't even check the weird the weird sculpture or whatever. <clears throat> okay. Take a look at the baby. Monica's baby, sleeping soundly. She's a sweet scent, a scent that touches the bottom of my heart. A cute sleeping face. And of course, you should already know who this baby is, if you've been paying attention. Renju, 19 year old. We had to, po we had to point that out though. Renju is sitting down. Uh, did you get the birth certificate? The mob doctor took care of everything. I have the birth certificate, and I even picked up a mother and baby book. It wasn't cheap, but you don't have to worry about it. Just submit the birth certificate, and everything will be taken care of. You look worried. I feel like... I'm somehow betraying Monica. She was the one who gave birth. Soon, you won't even be able to think about that. Because a war is about to begin. A war? Between you and the baby. You won't get a good night's sleep for a long time. You might even start to resent Monica for all this. Really? Anyway, as soon as you submit the certificate, you will officially be her mother. Be sure to raise her responsibly. 
I'll help. Occasionally. Occasionally, huh? Yeah, whatever is convenient for me, so I don't have to get up at like three in the morning every every day for like the next like five years or whatever. Um, or well, technically it should be only like three or four, but anyway, you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, you know why Tommy didn't want to talk about about uh, Iris and uh, why Renju has a weird friendship closeness with Iris. You know, what should we name her? I was thinking about her name. How about Iris? Iris? The goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology? And the colored part of your eye? And the flower, too. Right. I thought it might have something to do with your name, Hitomi. <laughs> Not only that. It's also for Monica's name. The kanji for Monica uses the character for love. And Monica reminds me of Monaco, Japanese for I. So both names have something to do with the I. And I, which means love, will always be a part of Iris. So that's how you came up with the name? Don't you think it's nice? Iris. Iris. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, this game kind of goes into further detail, but the whole concept of Japanese use of word wordplay and onomatopoeia and the look of kanji and all that in terms of decision making when it comes to like names and how they use it for puns and stuff like that. I think it's like one of the few games that really heavily talks about that. Um, if you're not aware of the how they view such things, I mean, not everyone does, but anyway, thought it was interesting about Mon Monica's killer. I don't really want to discuss this, but there's something you need to know. After talking to the Kumakura gang, I found out who killed Monica. So's son, Saito Sejima. How? Saito was only... Twelve years old. Why? Why would a little boy do that? I don't know the motive, but I know it's true. So used his connections with the Kumakuras to cover up for his son. And all of the evidence of this scandal, of course. I'll never forgive them. So, his son, or the Kumakuras. I feel the same way. But you can't think about revenge now. You and the baby can't lead a life like that. <laughs> Just bear with it for now. The opportunity will come. So wait until the right moment. Okay? And so my life with Iris began. Raising a child was much harder than I expected. Waking up in the middle of the night to change diapers or feed her. Iris wasn't a good sleeper. I had to sing her lullabies to put her to sleep. And I always needed to put her to bed so carefully. It would only take 10 seconds before she'd start crying again. So I had to pick her up, sing her another lullaby, then put her back to bed. After doing this over and over, before I knew it, the morning sun would creep in through the windows. But even with all that, I cherished every single day. My hatred for those responsible never went away. But my hands were full, raising Iris. I devoted myself to her. I never thought about anything else. Eventually, my desire for revenge just faded away. Mommy, 
pancakes are done! Sorry, I burned it a little. Mommy, why can't I dance at the stores? I can't help it! My body dances on its own! Mommy, don't more people come to barbecues? How come it's always you and me? Hey, Mommy. How long will it take my bone to get better? I want to dance again with everybody. Hey, Mommy! Do you like my shirt? Look, we're matching! Mommy, thank you for everything! I love you more than anything in the whole wide world! Mommy, look! I drew it! <laughs> the Okonomiyaki War, huh? That was so fun! We should do it again! The food or the food fight? Um... Both! I'm gonna have to say no to the latter, sweetie. It took forever to clean. But Uncle said he wants to do it again, too! Hey, Mommy. Yes? Are you gonna marry him? What? What are you talking about? As long as it's Uncle, I'm all for it! I say go for it! I would always question myself. Could I keep living a lie? I had promised Monica that I would avenge her. But... I couldn't work up the courage. And maybe Renju was exaggerating, but there's no statute of limitations for murder in Japan. If we showed Monica's body to the police, Sol would be punished by the law, and the Sejima's and Kumakura's crimes would be uncovered. But that would mean... Iris's secret would be uncovered as well. That's what I was really worried about. I didn't want Iris to know that Sol was her father. And even more than that, I didn't want her to know that I'm not her real mother. That's the real reason I've been silent for 18 years. I didn't want to lose Iris. But... Fate can be cruel. God used other means to take Iris from me. In January, Iris suddenly collapsed. It was caused by a malignant tumor in her brain. There's nothing we can do. She only has a year to live at most. That's what the doctor said. If you remember me telling you. But what I didn't tell you is that there was an experimental new treatment. It was... Some of the cutting-edge nanomachines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. They can even cure cancer. And they go, beep, beep, beep. That's what Mom said. Nanomachines. Nanomachines could remove the tumor. But the procedure would be so expensive. With my salary, it wasn't something I could afford. I thought hard about it about how I could get my hands on that kind of money. But I couldn't think of a solution. Time passed. Before I knew it, it was November. Iris's symptoms worsened. Her time was running out. I was starting to panic. I couldn't sit here and waste time while Iris... In any case, I had to get the money before it was too late. So I thought of a plan. A plan to blackmail Sol Tsujima. Two days ago, on Saturday night, I called So and invited him to come to the warehouse. He agreed to come. After I hinted at what happened 18 years ago, I had prepared everything, hiding behind the forklift until So came. When he finally arrived,
He walked over to the workbench, where I had laid Monica's body. He lifted the cloth and looked down. He whimpered and stumbled back. Even he was phased, seeing a body he thought he got rid of 18 years ago. Not to mention it was the body of a woman he was in a relationship with. A woman his own son killed. He reacted exactly as I expected he would. I had prepared a recording and sent it to his phone. I know what happened 18 years ago. Everything. I know who did it. And I know she had a baby inside her. You can probably guess what I'm going to say next. Be prepared to pay for my silence. I will tell you the exact amount later. And don't tell anyone about this. Not Saito. Not the Kumakuras. If you do anything even remotely suspect, I will go to the press with the truth. Understand? I told him to keep quiet and cut ties with the Kumakuras. Even if he found out who I was, without the Kumakura gang, he had no power over me. And there's no way he'd risk his political career not to go after me. I saw So put his phone back into his pocket and run out of the warehouse. I came out of my hiding place to put Monica's body back. But then, something unexpected happened. I saw you, Date. I hid behind the forklift before you saw me. And when you were done looking around... Uh, it can't be! I was losing consciousness. My head felt fuzzy. I couldn't gather my thoughts. I didn't know what to say. Instead, Iba did the talking. Iris is not Hitomi's daughter. But Iris's father is Sosajima. Her mother, Monica Iwai, was killed 18 years ago by So's son, Saito. However, Hitomi raised Iris since she was a baby. Hitomi showed unwavering love and compassion for her. Just as much as her biological mother would have, if not more. Iris's tumor was discovered in January of this year. The only possible treatment was experimental nanotechnology. However, that treatment is restrictively expensive. Hitomi devised a plan to blackmail Sosajima for the money. The best way to establish the blackmail was to show him proof directly. That is why Hitomi created the scene with the corpse. She was the one who called So to the warehouse. On Sunday night, what Date saw was what Hitomi had prepared for So. That is the summary of what we have learned so far. But there are some things I have yet to understand. Date, pull yourself together. Ask her questions. Date, snap out of it! I heard Iba call for me and came to. You know, game, I'm, I'm sorry, it's a serious moment, but we just learned all that, and then you tell us the same information again. I get the idea is to summarize it, but we just learned it. We were paying attention. At least I was. Were you viewers? I don't know. 
Anyway, let's look around before we ask her. Boss and Pierre are nowhere to see. Where'd they go? Oh yeah, where are they? Probably because they saw what we saw and they're like, uh oh. -uh. Well, because I think all the paths have something to do with one another. There's like certain ties to both or another and whatever the true path is, I think we'll find out eventually. Not today, of course, but has, okay, we know about that. I think all these are probably going to be the same, so. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's repeating itself. I don't know why it's even allowing us to check it again, frankly, to tell you the truth, but, uh, all right, well, we've gotten the story of Otomi, her friend, or her friends, and their tie into, like, political scandal, you know, and and just bad, bad times indeed. So what other information can we learn from this? Is there going to be a way to piece this all together and make somewhat of a peaceful solution to all this? Find out next time in the next episode of AI, The Somnium Files. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.